Hello everyone. Well, today's video, yes, I know it is a change of scenery. I'm downside in the basement uh, opening up this rare package that I got from Aberax Complex on Arachnoports Canada. His name is Ali, uh, who sent me the Oligosteri Diamantinensis last year. It's doing phenomenal. Next week he's going to actually send me some couple of Oligosteri slings as a freebie. So I forgot to include into the package. So. Today was a very hot day, it was around 38 with the Humididex, it was unbelievably hot and sweating bullets, so we're going to see how his package arrived. Uh, it came from Vancouver, BC. So yes, this is the rare elusive chicken spider that Rob C wanted to get. And before I open up the package, a little shout out to Daylator, uh, he is doing the same thing as Dominic, posting some interesting tarantula videos and he's making some care sheets and is also from what I understand he's actually uh, trying to get a teaching license like I did so congrats to him and good luck with that and also to Isaiah Crow uh, Minecraft videos if you like those I also will have some uh, Mario Hack videos that are coming up right after so that'll be interesting to watch okay so I've got the package open Let's have a look-see. Cool packing. A bunch of newspapers. Oh yes, this is it. Oh baby. Now, I uh, got a name request for this one. Uh, a lot of people asked me to name this guy Shelob, uh, which is the giant spider name from Lord of the Rings series. So, yeah, I guess I'll play along. Because uh, I think that'll be an appropriate name because it's supposedly rumored that it gets larger than T. Blondie, but that's just rumors. I'd quite try not to believe that, but anyway, let's see if this Panpo is as healthy as she can be. Now, if anyone knows uh, how much I paid for her, it's around 150 plus uh, $25 to ship it, so. And it's two days shipping express post from Canada Post. Okay. Woo! <laughs> she almost grabbed me there. Oh my goodness, she came out healthy. That's for sure. Holy cow, is she big. She wanted my blood. Well, you can see there's a mini drill and you can see how large uh, she is. Wow, she really just went after me. Oh, thank God I have the catch cup and at least we're in the basement so I can catch her if uh, she decides to escape. Well, I could say, say that she's healthy, very, very skittish from her initial temperament. Uh-oh. I don't want you going inside my father's TV. That's a very bad sign if you do that. Okay, so there you have it, folks. You're looking at species chicken spider, Pamphibedius. And there's the fangs. Uh, yeah, this is 100% confirmed female. Uh, you can tell by her ventral shot, it's really not coming out very clear. But yeah, a male would never be this large. I don't think she bit me, but I think that was a close call. Never been bitten by teas before. So, knock on wood. Okay. So, yes, this is the H. spinifer setup. Of course, my H. spinifer is not there. Okay. Well, this is going to be an easy transfer. She wants to go out. Alright, so there is the girl. Yeah. Seven to eight inches. Pretty respectable. Okay, so. Jeez. Yeah, this is a very skittish one. 
And usually I like to do just pluck the fall there. And usually what I do for skittish teas, in the event that does happen when you're transferring new teas, I just leave them in there and they're going to crawl out on their own will. So definitely, Ollie, you can see right away that this female came roaring to life, tried to bite me, and as you can see, she's in perfect health. So thanks so much, man. I can't wait for next week's package with the Oligosteri. Sweet. So subscribe to those two people. I'll include them in the video description, and hope you enjoy it. Thanks for watching.